Hi again, everybody. It's time for your news break on Paper News 24-7. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. Well, today is Election Day in Indiana, Primary Election Day, and Montgomery County Clerk Jennifer Bentley and Voter Registration Deputy Karen Douglas plan to be in the office at 4.30 this morning and stay until the last vote is counted around 9 p.m., Douglas said Monday afternoon. We have all the workers we need, she said, referring to people who will work at each of the polling places in the county. Everything is on schedule as planned. Absentee voting was a little higher than in past years. Douglas went back to 2008 when the primary election was for the same offices as 2012. Four years ago, in 2008, there were 907 absentee ballots cast, compared with 925 this year. Douglas said she has no idea why there was an increase. <coughs> it is taking voters a little time to get used to the new precinct names, Douglas said, but she said she thinks the voters will catch on quickly after a few elections. The names were changed to precincts numbered 1 through 10 in Crawfordsville instead of the old names, Ward 1, Precinct 1, Ward 2, Precinct 2, etc. Nearly all voters will vote in the same place they voted in recent years, with two exceptions. If you used to vote in Mills School, you will vote in the Tannenbaum Center, which is located behind the Rotary Jail Museum on Spring Street. That's the street that runs alongside the uh, Rotary Jail Museum and intersects with Washington Street in downtown Crawfordsville. If you used to vote at Walnut School, you will vote in the Firehouse in New Ross, Douglas said. The other thing people need to know is that they must take their ID with them when they go to vote, as always, she said. If you have questions about voting today, call 364-6437. That's 364-6437 until the polls close at 6 p.m. Then read the paper and www.thepaper24-7.com online for the primary election results. And when we come back, a not guilty verdict was returned for attempted murder. And uh, we'll look at Weatherby's three-degree guarantee, as well as sports. You're watching Newsbreak from the pages of the paper of Montgomery County. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialist take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Gould's will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. Floor covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's. All backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zahn's today and see why we want to be everywhere you are. And we're back. Okay. Mark A. Smith, 51, of Darlington, was found not guilty over the weekend of attempted murder in the shooting of Christopher A. Rice, 41, of Frankfurt, that occurred in Montgomery County on February 19, 2011. Smith, of 7771 East County Road 650 North near Darlington, was arrested in May 2011. Smith was tried in Montgomery County Circuit Court and found not guilty on charges of attempted murder, aggravated battery, battery with a deadly weapon, and battery causing serious injury. The jury found Smith guilty of invasion of privacy, a misdemeanor. Rice recovered from his injuries and was dismissed from an Indianapolis hospital. Well, Weatherby's three-degree guarantee says it's going to be a beautiful day to get out and vote. He says uh, the high today is going to be 73 degrees under mostly sunny skies. Now, if Weatherby is off by more than three degrees, send us an email at weatherby at thepaper24-7.com. Give us your name, address, or your name and phone number anyway, and uh, you'll be in the running for a prize. Now, let's flip over to our sports page. 
And the county's best is preparing for the SAC and sectional meets. The three Montgomery County track and field teams continue to prepare for the upcoming Sagamore Athletic Conference and sectional meets. Southmont's girls team won its 12th straight county championship last week and Crawfordsville edged out North Montgomery for third. This year's track and field scene has been dominated by sophomores and juniors. So far, six juniors and four freshmen own the best distances or times in their respective events. Seniors hold the best distances or times in two events and a freshman has the best time in the 1600 meter race. Southmont leads in 11 events while North Montgomery leads in three and Crawfordsville two. The boys results will be printed next week. And that's about it for uh, news, weather, and sports from the pages of the paper of Montgomery County. If you'll notice back here behind me every day you see faithfully setting Tasha Bannon and we want to wish her a happy 21st birthday today. So uh, happy birthday Tasha and if you see her be sure and say happy birthday Tasha. For the paper of Montgomery County I'm Frank Phillips reporting. Get out and vote and have an outstanding day won't you?